Today's video is all about food. It's not just any kind of food. Would you tell them what kind? All about Jamaican food. Hello out there world, my name is Chris. I'm retired working for you. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about my new microphone and also the new lenses I have. I got these little screw on iPhone lenses. So we're gonna test out lens number one, which is a bit of a wide angle lens. I'm here in front of Hamduan. This is a restaurant that serves Northern Thai food, cow soy that I love. This man's gonna deliver it to some uh, lovely customers because right now you can see that this place is still doing takeaway only. So we're not gonna go for lunch here, but that's okay because we got a new treat for you coming up. So Hamduan's just back there. Just to give you a point of reference today, I'm back in front of the Ekamai Beer House. Remember when I chugged that old Leo beer? That was right here. Is this, does this belong to, ah, screw it. But the place we're going, for this new Jamaican food today. Oh, peekaboo is up here. Uh, there's one more stop though I wanna make along the way. I just wanted to give you a point of reference. We're on Sukhumvit Soy 63 here. And right now we're on the telephoto lens. So that's two lenses down, one lens to go. Let's go. Oh, we're going, we're going. So uh, we're about halfway up Soy 63. And uh, we're at a place called Index Living Mall. This has got a uh, Big C in here. Big C is like an all-in-one sort of grocery store, almost like a mini Walmart uh, here in Thailand. And Index Living Mall is like a mini Ikea. The reason I wanted to show you this is because we're halfway up uh, Soy 63, which means you might be able to guess where we're going next. Super famous restaurant. We've been there before pretty recently. If you can guess, drop a comment below. Powder bikes. Oh man, I, I mentioned in my live stream yesterday how much Bangkok's been developing since you were probably here last. Where I'm standing, I was here like a month ago and I did a video. Let me show you a clip of it. Yeah, it was a jungle a month ago. Well, a month later, the jungle's been replaced by this man in a sombrero and what appears to be a KFC parking lot coming soon. Those of you that guessed, do you know where I am? This is the second last stop here. Let me put on my new fisheye lens and give you a better, a better look. So this is Watana Panic. If you guessed it, then hats off to you. I did a video here. This is the soup that's been boiling here for 40 straight years. Look at the crust around the outside. This is a Bangkok institution. If you haven't been here, then I suggest that you come and check it out. I'll leave a Google map link for you right now. But we're discovering Jamaican food. I haven't had Jamaican food since I moved to Bangkok, so I'm pretty excited. And it's only about 100 meters up here. So this place is all the way up at the end of the Kwong. I'm sweating as usual. I'd recommend taking a taxi or a motorbike taxi, but you're gonna wanna end up in here. Irie Bangkok, let's go see what it's like. This is a brand new restaurant and it's got a really cool story behind it. We're gonna meet the two owners who will tell us all about it, but first, let me eat. So let's take a look at the menu here. It's a pretty simple menu, which I like. They got a bunch of mains. Jerk chicken seems to be the thing to get, but they also do some corn, but it's not just any corn. It's the yard man corn. Yard corn. man corn, what's that? Jamaican style corn with uh, some Parmesan cheese and okay. some yeah. some sauce that he comes up with. Some garlic aioli and uh, just a little bit of Old Bay seasoning as well. And then in here we've got your we've got your patties on and your macaroni pie as well. I'm gonna get a sampling of a bunch of this stuff. I'll tell you how it tastes, but I'm pretty excited. I have not had jerk chicken since I moved to Bangkok. Oh, and the 420 special. I wonder what that's all about. begin on this Jamaican feast. I'm gonna start with a little bit of yard man corn. 
Oh, that's packed full of flavor. I think it's paprika. It's got some paprika on there. All the Parmesan cheese, you can taste that after a bit. Mmm, these you have to get for sure. Get yourself a beef patty. It's got some kick to it, like any good Jamaican beef patty does, a little bit of spice. So she was saying they have a regular barbecue sauce that's not too spicy, a spicy barbecue. And then I think this is a little jerky sauce for this. Look at this jerk salad here. Oh, little sliced jerk breasts on top of the salad. Get a little piece of chicken. Get a little lettuce and a little uh, red pepper. Oh yeah. That flavor is definitely Irie. Before I go in for the superstar, let's try this macaroni pie real quick. Yeah, it's baked macaroni. Nice uh, little size, a little side dish of macaroni. Looks hot. It's a tasty macaroni, but I'm here for this right here, this jerk chicken. Like any jerk chicken, it needs to go with rice and beans and coleslaw. Let's get a piece of this meat. Look at that baked jerk jerk sauce on the outside, a little bit of rice and peas, and a little bit of coleslaw all in one bite. Bangkok gets better every single day, every single week. I got quite a bit of eating to do. So while I'm doing that, why don't we go chat with the owners? This is a really cool startup story and uh, it's a challenging time to be starting up a business here. So let's hear, uh, let's hear their story. Congrats on opening this place up. Thank you Thank very you. much, man. Yes. So how did this all come about? Oh, well, we just, obviously the COVID's hit, so we both DJ ourselves and we can't do any entertainment out here. So we've decided to do something that we know we can do and start cooking, cooking some jerk chicken to send out to He's people cooked, and stuff. And my background is in like marketing, so that's why it's worked together really well. Oh, that's well. a good combination. When did you open up? Uh, we opened up on the 1st of May, but we started sending chicken out from our own condo at first just to start things off. Wait, you were barbecuing in the condo? Yeah, barbecuing in the condo, in by a bar, the swimming by the pool. pool. <laughs> Anywhere I could get a grill going, we was getting it going. But... People started eating it, they were liking it. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, let's get a location. Yeah, yep. That's it. That's exactly that. Is. And oh. we were just like lucky. We did an event um, just around the corner and we found this place to have the style like rent. For, yeah, for we just drove and past. we just called him the owner and a month later we yep. got the place locked down. Everything oh. just worked. So where do you cook? Where do you do the cooking? All the magic happens out back. Out back? Yeah. And what do you 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 got a smoker? How do you We've got an offset smoker at the moment, so we do a bit of offset smoking. But just to get that more flavour and that richness through all the chicken and stuff, do it properly. I've always said, if you don't do it properly, don't do it. Do and we it, order right? Scotch bonnet from, from the UK too. Yeah, to start with. Yeah. But now we've got our own in the ground in Suatani. Right. Yeah, that's cool. And we've got some great people looking after them as well. Hi guys, here's the Scotch bonnet for Irish Shirk Chicken. It's going to be super hot. That can blow your mind. Like that pepper sauce. And how's things going so far? Good, good. Very good so I mean, far. You guys opened a business right in the middle of a lockdown That's, in Bangkok. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, to hear that it's going okay yeah. must be encouraging. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not booming. It's not yeah. booming and we don't we expect order. it to be booming straight yeah. away. We're going to have to work and, and um, push it, but yeah. we're getting good feedback. People that are good having feedback. the food are enjoying it. And then get orders in every day. You, are you guys on like Food Panda and Grab and all these yes. things? Yes. We're on Food Panda and Robin Hood at the moment. Sorry to interrupt. This is three days later. We just ordered another feast from Irie. Anna, what did you like? I really like the snack box with the hot sauce. And Haley, what's your favorite? I like the coconut, bean and coconut rice and then hot sauce is must. I like to buy a bottle of hot sauce. Yes, the, the hot sauce is addictive. Make sure you get that. And I think they sell extra bottles. You can buy it by the bottle. Now back to the restaurant. Look at that. And, and can you buy this hot sauce? Well, at the moment, you can buy from our store or direct from us. So halfway through the meal here, and I definitely wanted to highlight this rice. It's not your typical rice and beans. This has actually got a nice coconut flavor to it. That's a really cool blend of Thai and Jamaica coming together. The rice is definitely a highlight. They also have this uh, lime soda. It may not be Ting, it's from Singa, but it goes good with the uh, Jamaican food. That's not all that goes good with Jamaican food. They do something pretty unique in here. Let me just show you. We just really can't wait until we can have people in here and we can just like, you know, 
provide them with the full experience where we get the bar going, the music going, and it's just gonna be good vibes. Yeah. Okay, that was a great meal, but you guys gotta see what this place is gonna feel like after this COVID shit ends. This is DJ Orwan. You probably remember her from the drum and bass video. DJ Orwan, can you show Hi. them what it's gonna look and yeah, sound like? Yeah, sure, can't wait. Oh yeah. This is what this place is gonna look and sound like. Irie Bangkok jerk and tunes and tings. You gotta get in here and check this place out. Google map link in the description. Oh, I love the, I'm going back in.